Hey guys, welcome back to another Cook With Me on Wednesday episode. Um, now, if you haven't joined us before, this is a new series where I'm gonna be cooking with you every Wednesday, or actually, depending on where you are in the world, whether it's Wednesday or Tuesday night. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be cooking here. We're gonna release this video live so that I can be answering your questions while you're actually watching, which brings me to my next point, and that is please say hello in the comments. I like to know where you're watching from, who you are, what are you doing, what are you eating, what you drinking I like all those things <laughs> and then throughout the video please do ask your questions because I'm going to be here um, commenting and answering those questions right down there in the comments so let me know also please let me know if anything's burning that would be great Okay, so that gets me down to what are we cooking today? So the idea with these episodes is that I decide what you're gonna cook on a Wednesday because if you're like me, you probably have the same issue and that is it's Wednesday. I'm a bit tired. It's, you know, halfway through the week. I don't know what I'm cooking for dinner. Well, I can help you out. Um, and today I've decided that we should have a Vietnamese chicken salad. Now this one isn't just any kind of like salad, you know, like this is a really fun salad. <laughs> it has noodles and it has herbs and lots of crunchy things and it's really totally epic. Let's get into making that salad. The star of the show is gonna be a cooked rotisserie chicken or barbecue chicken. So I'm gonna grab that out of the fridge. And you know, like the reason I decided that we should do a barbecue chicken dish is that like I often will grab one of these on my way home from work um, from the supermarket and it's just so easy to make something out of it. You know, oftentimes I'll make, you know, a Thai curry or some sort of salad dish or, you know, even just like chicken toasted sandwich. <laughs> but this is way more exciting than a chicken toasted sandwich. So what you wanna do is just deal with the chicken first. So by that I mean shred up your chicken pieces. I'm gonna keep it quite chunky because I like it quite chunky. And I also like the skin and all the bits and pieces, but you choose your own adventure here. Now, one of the things that I thought would be pretty cool about these episodes is that um, one, I can answer your questions sort of live uh, in the morning or in the evening, depending on where you are. And then you can come back and when you're actually going to cook this dish, come back and watch the video again and we can cook together. You can do it in real time. That would be really fun. So if you guys are trying out this recipe and you are here cooking it right now, well, that's awesome. That's kind of like an inception thing, isn't it? It's like we're cooking now and then you're going to be doing it later, but coming, anyway. <laughs> I am not Leonardo DiCaprio, obviously. That was Leonardo DiCaprio on Inception, wasn't it? Was it? I always get my movie references mixed up, just so I check. <laughs> ah, that was a great movie. All right, so chicken is done. Um, I'm gonna get my water boiling so that I can cook some noodles a little bit later on. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, we've got a little bit of chopping to do, not too much. And you could also cheat here. I've got a few hacks for you um, for some of this vegetable work. But first of all, I'm gonna do some carrots. Now, one of the things I wanted to do for this series was try to include uh, a little bit more veg. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like during the week, I kind of want to feel good about what I'm eating. You know, can't all be fried chicken and caviar. Not that I eat caviar much but eat fried, but fried chicken we do cook a lot of on the channel but anyway you know what I mean I want it to feel nice and wholesome and lovely for you on a weeknight so I'm gonna do my carrots here so I am hand slicing my carrots here because I find chopping kind of rather therapeutic <laughs> But that's not for everyone. You could just buy your strips of carrot already done. And you can also get like, you know, like the coleslaw mix that you can get from the supermarket as well. That's a really good option so that you're not actually doing any of this chopping. So I've got carrots. And what else can we do here? I think some cucumber and stuff would be nice too. So I found some cabbage and cucumber in my fridge. The cucumber, I just want some nice little like, sort of cute little random pieces. Now the cool thing about this salad is that you could take this base kind of recipe with the vegetables and the chicken um, and the crunchy stuff that's happening a little bit later on and then add a different dressing. So I'm doing a Vietnamese style dressing today but you could do a Thai style dressing which would be really cool. Um, so you can kind of like, you know, go your own adventure there. So cucumbers, I'm gonna do some chili here as well and a little bit of the cabbage just because it was in the fridge. Okay, so now let's do some dressing. Now, this is very loose in style in terms of it being 
a Vietnamese style dressing. I feel like the, um, the fish sauce and the vinegar um, and that little bit of sweetness gives you that hint of that, that kind of nook chum um, dressing vibe. So that's what we're kind of going for. Honey, fish sauce, and I've used honey here instead of sugar just to, again, try and keep things a little kind of healthy-ish. And vinegar. Now I've included vinegar here instead of lime juice, which would probably be more traditional for a Vietnamese dressing, just because I wanted to like include a pantry ingredient in case you didn't have limes, fresh limes lying around. But if you do, you could use that here instead. Mm, good. I think a little bit more fish sauce though. Mm, nice. What you're looking for is like, it's like that saltiness that makes your mouth really juicy. If you know what I mean, like, like the salt should just make all those juices start to flow. And before I was just getting kind of sweet. Now I'm getting that like salty juiciness. So that's what I wanted. And we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna go grab a few more herbs. I found some lettuce as well. So, this is all starting to look very fresh and lovely. I love that. Um, I've got my herbs stored here in some wet, just slightly damp paper towel. I think that's the best way to keep them really fresh during the week. And I'm gonna go in here first with some mint. And I really think it's that like interplay of the um, dressing, the fish sauce based dressing, plus the mint that really does give you a bit more of that Vietnamese kind of flavor. So that's why the mint is really important. Now some spring onion. I always seem to have spring onion like kicking around in the bottom of my crisper. So it's always good to find ways to use it up. Okay, so now um, let's talk about the crunchy things. I've got some little store-bought bits and pieces here which just really make things a lot better. <laughs> really easy because you don't really have to do too much to prepare them apart from like literally just popping the top off your container. Um, so this is some fried shallots or fried onions. They're often sold in the Asian section of the supermarket um, or find them online or from your Asian uh, grocery store and they're kind of like the reason they're so great is that one they're crunchy so they add texture but the flavor of them is kind of like this really great savory umami kind of thing and it just kind of really makes everything yum. <laughs> it's like magic powder, magic dust. So there we go. Sprinkle some of that on there. And then I might just mix in a bit of my dressing before I go to add my crunchy noodles a bit later on. I think this is gonna be best done by hand. So just let me get everything making friends in here. You kind of just want just enough dressing to just just have that little whisper of salty sweetness on each of those little bits and pieces in there. Let me try this, make sure we've got it right. So we can always add a little bit more dressing if we need to. Mm, yeah, that's really good. Just right, like it's not gonna go soggy because we haven't drowned it in the dressing and it's just all really nice and fresh and light. That's delicious, but we're not done yet. We need noodles and we also need crispy noodles. So noodle time. Now you could totally just serve this salad as it is. It's beautiful, it's lovely, um, but I kind of like to add a little bit of extra bits and pieces so that when you've got it at the table, everyone's kind of making their own little bowl of noodles and the chicken salad and the herbs and stuff like that. So I'm using some dried rice vermicelli noodles. Pop those into some boiling water. Now they don't take very long to cook, so we don't wanna overcook them. Now remember guys, if you've got any questions, please do ask them in the comments below because I'm going to be here watching this with you guys and answering any questions that you have. That way you can sort them out before you make dinner later on. I do like to keep these guys moving around as they're cooking just so they don't stick together and so they cook a little bit more evenly. So as I said, they don't take very long to cook. So I think they're looking pretty good to me. I'm just going to pop them out into my colander here. All right, so what typically happens with these as they dry is that they just kind of all stick together and you don't want them sticking together in one big clump like this. So if you come over to the sink with me, I'll show you what I do to separate out our little noodles into nice little bundles. So what we're doing first of all is cooling the noodles down so that they stop cooking so they don't overcook. And now once they're nice and cool to the touch, I'm just gonna tip them out into my bowl here so that they're actually sort of soaking in the water. And now I'm just gonna pick up sort of 
bunchy kind of strands of noodles. And because they're wet, it makes them a little bit easier to handle. And then I'm just gonna loosely kind of wrap them around and actually pinch and break them off. So that does two things. One, it separates this noodle bunch into a nice like, you know, portion size, but also you don't have really long strands of noodles that then get stuck everywhere and, you know, get all kind of clumpy. So it's just a nice, neat little way to organize your noodles. So a couple of loops and then break it off. So now we've got like our noodles organized, if you like. Um, what I also like to do here is to create a nice fresh little plate. So I've got some green leaves here. This just means that everyone can just pick and choose what, you know, sort of greens they want, what herbs they want. And now some extra herbs. Now I've got some lovely Thai basil that I've got growing in my garden. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then a few extra mint leaves, I think. And then as you're eating your salad or making your little noodle salad bowl, if you like, you can be picking off extra herbs, um, adding more noodles or lettuce as you go, which makes it really nice. But let's finish off the actual salad here because everything would have kind of done a little bit of marinating by now. It's only been a few minutes, but we will have had everything in there getting nice and tasty. Let's give it a little bit more of a mix. Another sort of like little cheat that you can have in your pantry are some crunchy noodles. I've got like a, just a regular kind of spaghetti size and then this is like a little flat noodle as well. So you could choose either or do both, <laughs> whatever you like. I'm gonna do both, I like them. Okay, so this is like my sort of wide crunchy noodle. And a little bit of this one. This gives you some extra texture, some extra interest. And there you go, so we have our Beautiful chicken salad, plus our lovely set of noodles and herbs. So if you guys have been cooking along, which I hope some of you have been cooking along, hopefully this is sort of in the vicinity where you've landed. Um, <laughs> now all the recipes are on my website for these as well. So make sure if you're watching before you head out to buy your ingredients, you can head there, grab your whole shopping list, so you know what you're doing in the evening. Um, but this is how I would do it if I was here, I am here, but this is how I would do it if I was you, <laughs> wherever you are. But, okay, noodle. And because we've made that nice little bundle, we can just easily pick up one little bundle. I'm gonna do some of my salad. Try and get some of that juicy stuff down in the bottom, because a lot of the dressing kind of lands into the bottom. That's gonna to help to dress our noodles. And then you just pick off some of your herbs. and then you just start digging in. So I like to get a little bit of noodle going, some herbs, some crunchy bits, like the ultimate mouthful. <laughs> That's a rather large mouthful, but anyway, let's, let's just go with it. <laughs> I still have a noodle here. Mm. Mm. That is so fresh and yum. What a great thing to do with just like standard supermarket chicken. Mm. That dressing is really light and fresh. So anyway, I am very much enjoying my noodle salad, but um, I would love to see you back here next week. Come and join me. I'll decide what we're going to cook for dinner. We can cook it together. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next Wednesday. Hey, guys, I'm releasing new recipes and videos every week. So if you want to know when something new and delicious is out, why not hit the subscribe button and the little bell? And that way you'll get notified every time. Thanks, guys. See you.